my first review of the year. Uh, apologies, it's been a very slow start to the year for me and my channel. So I do apologise. But yeah, I finally got around to seeing Coco uh, this week. It's only just been released in the UK. It's been released in America for quite a few months. But they've only just released it here in the UK. And so yeah, Coco, uh, Pixar's latest movie. So directed by Ali Ankrich, the film follows a 12-year-old boy named Miguel. He ends up getting accidentally transported to the land of the dead through certain events. So while he's there in the land of the dead, he searches for relatives that have passed away um, in the hope that they can transport him back into the land of the living. Now, I don't want to say too much more about the plot other than that, because there were a few little twists and turns in this film that I really, really didn't see coming. Um, the person that I went to see this film with did, but I just didn't expect it, and I was... I liked it. I liked those little twists and turns. Some of you might see them coming, but for me, they were like nice little surprises. But then I also didn't see any of the recent trailers that they released for this film. The only trailer I actually seen was with the dog and the skeleton. So when it comes to the actual story, I, I, I really went into this movie very sort of fresh, you could say. You didn't really know what to expect. So first of all, it's the concept of the movie is based from a Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead. And that got me interested straight away. I'm very fascinated by that holiday. And um, yeah, so I, I thought that was really different. It felt fresh. It felt original. And so yeah, I, I was really attracted to that, that concept within this film. Visually, as you would come to expect of a Pixar film, this movie is visually stunning. It is beautiful. It's vibrant, full of colour. Um, they're more like, like fluorescent colours. Um, but yeah, a very vibrant movie, visually stunning. It was beautiful to look at, as you would come to expect with Pixar. As a result of the great use of colours in this movie, like I said, it's very vibrant. But as a result, it really helps immerse you into this world, this story and this culture, this, Amer this Mexican culture. I also really liked the soundtrack, the score in this movie by Michael Giacchino. He also did the soundtrack for War for the Planet of the Apes, which I also really liked. But yeah, I really dug his soundtrack in this film. And the music in this movie, um, it's not filled, I wouldn't say it was filled with singing. You do have a few musical numbers, I really liked them. And uh, it really made me want to go out and get a guitar and, you know, learn how, learn how to play a guitar. It's one of those things that I really want to do. And um, watching this film, I found it very inspiring. It made me want to do just that, which is, you know, sort of follow my dreams, you could say. It, it is a very inspiring movie. Just like the child in this movie that you follow, the 12-year-old Maguire, he looks up to this really famous musician. And um, he's his idol. And that's who this child wants to be. He wants to be this really, you know, this famous musician who can really play a guitar and sing. So, yeah, it's got a message really in a way for kids who are really, if there's something they really want to do, if they've got something that they really want to be when they grow up, um, if there's a g dream they want to chase, and this movie tells you, go for it. But at the same time, it warns kids of the fact that growing up isn't, always 100% straightforward it's more complex and complicated than that and life will throw challenges at you and so that for me the film really told or gives our message to kids in a very very clever way without without, without this movie becoming too intense for kids it balanced it out very well and this movie also explores death which could have been quite risky really but they handle it you know in such a clever way they were very you know this was, in that way this movie was very smart because of the way they handled this theme this subject you know death and they did a really clever job at sort of not making it too intense for children. And it, as a result, they, they really did balance the tone out very, very well. Because this movie, I felt this movie went quite dark. But I think they just pulled away from it just at the right time. They just had the right, the right amount. And so, yeah, they did a really good job at balancing that tone out, I felt. And from stopping it from becoming a little bit too intense. Though I do think there are moments in this film... From either I think kids are going to find a little bit boring. Maybe um, there are a lot of uh, sort of quieter, sort of somber moments 
within this film and I think kids might get a little bit agitated as a result. But the way in which they sort of explore and you know explore death really and the real you know the reality of life and death the way they explore that within this film was very it was done in a very smart way i think kids are not going to be put off by it um they're not going to be you know they're not going to come out crying or anything like that i i just think they did it it was it was done just right a anthony Gon gonzalez i think that's how you say his name he voiced the 12 year old miguel and I thought his performance was great. The voice talent that this that this boy uh, sort of gives to this character is, I thought, I really liked it. Um, it had a lot of emotional weight to it, especially when it comes to singing the songs. There is one moment in this movie when Miguel is in the land of the dead and he's at this party and he starts singing. And you can hear the emotion in this boy's voice. And it makes you, it really sort of transports you there and makes you believe in this character. And it makes this character feel real as a result. And it's all down to the voice talent, the performance of this Anthony Go Gonzalez. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. But yeah, as a result, it really makes you think that this character is real, like flesh and blood real. And that you're not watching an animated uh, movie anymore. But yeah, that was one of my favourite moments, actually, that that sort of scene, that party scene where he just starts singing and everyone's looking at him. It was sort of like a really an emotional moment and I just liked the way that entire scene played out. And again, like with all Pixar films, I like the humour. Though I'd be honest with you, when it comes to the humour in this one, um, there was a lot less Pixar humour. Now I love Pixar humour and it is in this film. But not quite as much as I really wanted it to be and there's a, there were a lot more childish gags um than anything and there were moments that made me chuckle that made me laugh I think. for me pixar humor is sort of like a balance of humor for adults as well as children it's humor that adults can relate to but children can't but can can relate to the, relate to the humor in a different way so children will also get it as well as adults but for different reasons and i think pixar do that kind of humor very very well i'm not sure if i actually understood what I just said, how I just explained that, but that's what I mean by Pixar humor. That's how that's how it comes across to me, anyway. Like I can laugh at a, a like a joke or something in a Pixar movie, but because I, only I can get it because I'm an adult. A child will not get it in the same way that I got it, but they will also find something in it to laugh at as well. And I think Pixar do a really good job at doing that sort of humor, really uh, humor that's sort of designed for both adults and children, but will get sort of the different sides of it but yeah it was there wasn't as much of it as i really wanted it to and but like i said there are moments in this movie that did make me chuckle so coco a deep sometimes dark story um full of color vibrant color uh to help immerse you into this world and its culture and it will also get kids on board but there are sort of slower quieter somber moments in this film which i liked kids might get agitated and i think they really balanced the tone out very well because this could have been you know quite a dark film and it just kids may not have been interested in this film at all um but no i think they did a really good job at balancing that tone out especially when it comes you know at the end of the day they're exploring death so they they really needed to sort of have that right balance there and they did a great job great voice talent uh yeah i really really enjoyed coco is it a perfect pixar film not quite. Uh, I don't think it's just... It's, it's a very, very, very good Pixar film. I really enjoyed it. It's emotional. It's, it's full of heart. Though I do... For me, even though I found it, you know, quite emotional, um, towards the end, I think it really sort of lacked the emotional clout that I wanted it to have. And so I think, you know, but that's a very minor gripe from me, as it is with the gags and, you know, that humour... They are very minor gripes. Um, I really enjoyed this film. It's a very good film. It's one of Pixar's best. And I recommend you all go out and see it and take your kids because there's a lot of life lessons uh, to be, you know, in this movie. There are a lot of messages in this movie for children. So, yeah, Coco. I will be giving Coco an A. Uh, what do you guys think of Coco? 
let me know below what was your favorite part is it your favorite pixar movie please let me know below and thanks again for watching i really do appreciate it i do have an unboxing coming up but the box is late uh geeky i'm currently subscribed to geeky it should be due within the next well a week i think this is actually quite late but i have got an unboxing coming up and i've got a few other videos planned i got to catch up on my film in cinema. There's so many movies I want to see. And so I'm hoping to do all of that within the next week. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And remember, if you like what you see and you share the same passion as me, then why not hit subscribe?